Trump, you piss everybody off. Pompeo, Trump, John Bolton, now you've done it. Now China said, watch we're, watch your ships, dude. Watch your roll. They got the DF-26 ready to go in the fucking Spratly Islands. So those are the uh, the disputed islands, the dreadly disputed islands. So you got Kim Jong-un today giving a fresh round of... Or, uh, Fresh round of warnings to Pompeo saying, watch out, I'm ready for anything. You got Vladimir Putin over there saying that I could hit you at any time and anywhere with my subs with the Zircon missile. Tread lightly, Trump. And now you have China today with a fresh new threat with the DF-26 and the DF-21s. Those are the Guam killers. So they're big enough to take out all of Guam if they want to do so. Yeah, Tread Lightly, you know what I mean? You got Kim over there threatening the West with his fucking Ha Songs and the Ha Song 14s and the Ha Song 15s right now. It's uh, it's getting fucking crazy over there. I don't know, Trump. Dude, you're making enemies everywhere, dude. You know, Xi Jinping hates your guts. Vladimir Putin hates your guts. They hate you, Pompeo, because you lie, you cheat, and you steal, and you fucking do business with backdoor dealings with terrorists. These people do not like you. So, but I've always said it before in the past, and I'll say it again. If I was president, I would say, fuck you, Xi Jinping, because you know and I know that son of a bitch would never, and I repeat, never, ever fire a missile at my destroyers. I would park that fucking uh, Zutmut fuck class or whatever the fuck you call it. That stealth class, the ship that I was telling you about this morning, I would park that motherfucker right in Taiwan's fucking harbors. And I'd be like, you know what, Xi Jinping, take this and shove it up your ass. That's what I would tell him to do it. I'd be like, you know what, Taiwan is a sovereign nation. They just want to be free. They want to be independent from you. They don't want to be ruled by communism. And they won their independence fair and square. And there you go, whether you like it or not, Xi Jinping. And another, furthermore, you don't own these fucking islands. And I would tell him straight up, the might of the U.S. Navy going against China's Navy. China's got a big Navy. So if we're going to have a war, you better go to war now before China gets even meaner. Because they got two aircraft carriers and they're working on the third one right now. And they have over a hundred destroyers at their disposal. So if there ever is a naval confrontation between Vladimir Putin and Russia versus China versus the U.S., the U.S. will get its ass kicked within a fucking... If you're fighting both countries, oh yeah. Like I said, they did a drill. They did a mock drill about three weeks ago. The Pentagon did. And America fought Russia and fought China and lost its ass within 24 minutes. Within two hours, all of America was lost, and the only thing was left was the ships at sea. We lost our ass. So, this is why it would be a good idea to get on the phone with Vladimir Putin and be like, Hey, I'll take a couple uh, hundred orders of the dreaded S-500 to protect our shores. But you know what? America is always, oh, whoa, we're America. We always have better and bigger things, and we're too fucking good to buy other people's shit. Well, guess what? Guess what, Trump? Their scientists are better than yours, dude. So, yeah, tread lightly, Trump. Well, yeah, you may have stealth ships, but they got weapons that can just take you out in the blink of an eye. So tread lightly here. But uh, as far as Xi Jinping, fuck you, Xi Jinping. You ain't going to do shit. So you're lucky I'm not your president, man. I'd slap you silly, dude. I'd have so many fucking ships in that Taiwan Strait. Parking at the fucking harbors, it would blow your mind, dude. I'd be waving flags, it just says freedom. Freedom and anti-communism, dude. That's what I would wave. I'd wave, I'd put that flag up on my fucking destroyer. And I'd say, and on the back end of it, I'd have F you, China. That'd be my flag on my destroyer, dude. I'd say, welcome to freedom and welcome to peace. Because all China wants is to be the biggest, meanest person on the block so one day... In their wildest dreams, this is this is Xi Jinping's dream, is to rule the world. You ain't going to rule the world. But uh, Vladimir Putin's talking about having a one world order. So he's sided up with China, and he's sided up with North Korea, and he's sided up with Iran. And whoever else wants to take, his pla you know, take sides with him, I'm sure Maduro and his shitty army. But right now, it's called the New World Order, and we have it, and it's been established, whether we like it or not. There's no more such thing as globalism now. 
the globalists are shitting their pants because they're like, oh, fuck, we're not number one anymore. America's not number one. No, you're not. Because when you get these all these nations siding together like that, you watch it, watch what you do and tread lightly, Trump, because these DF-26s could be coming to a carrier near you. So, you know what I mean? Just keep these motherfuckers guarded and start sending some stealth warships in the area and uh, let the games begin. So, yeah, one last time. F U G Jinping. Yeah. Go America. That's right. G Jinping. You ain't got shit on America, dude. But as far as Vladimir Putin, well, we don't want to go there. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Love you all.